It's a sad reality. In just four weeks, seven people have been killed here in the capital city by the hands of another. Good evening, and thanks for joining us on KRK News at 10. I'm Hillary Hunt. A local business actually raising awareness to stop this violence. Hogs Blues Cafe in North Little Rock is holding its annual fundraiser. And krk 4s Rochelle Turner speaking with the CEO about what actually motivated him to host this event. It's going to help raise some money for those victims' families. And that's exactly right, Hillary. Kristen Nelson says... Too many lives are being taken and it needs to stop. He says he remembers homicides happening back to back when he was growing up and now he's seeing the trend happen again and again. We should have zero tolerance for this. Hogs Blues Cafe CEO Kristen Nelson prepares for his annual black and white affair. We tried to put together an event around this time. Uh, to raise money and awareness of things that are going in the community. This year, the benefits will go towards Arkansas Stop the Violence, Parents of Murdered Children, and the Lupus Foundation. It is, it's a blessing to be here. The blessing brings some relief to families whose loved ones have died due to violence. Seven people killed since the start of the new year in Little Rock. A bullet or a knife it does not care what, you know, what nationality you are, but it all starts from our heart and saying, you know what, it's going to stop with me. The latest homicide happened Friday morning in broad daylight. Someone decided to make the ultimate choice. That ultimate choice is like a nuclear weapon. Once you make that decision, it is no going back, and you're ruining your life. A 20-year-old stabbed to death in Little Rock. That is just it's so sad, you know, senseless. Senseless acts of crimes that Nelson says happens too often in the capital city. He's calling on others to be a light in the community. Say that I'm go it's going to stop with me. I'm not going to take someone else's mother, father, son, grandchild. That we're going to stop this now. Now Nelson says he already has plans later this year to continue to help victims and their families. You still have time to head out to tonight's black and white affair, dress to impress and remember you're helping put an end to the violence. Hillary. Thank you, Rochelle. Happy to see that man stepping up to help. Well